what is going on peoples before we get into today's video can you guys smack a like on the video and let's try to get 60 likes that would be greatly appreciated but as we all know by now PSN is down and low key hella low key it may possibly take a couple days three days even a week to get this fixed you know haven't been on the PlayStation since since the beginning PlayStation 1 and haven't been having been through the deep struggles during Black Ops 1 when it was down for months I can tell you that PlayStation possibly might take some time trying to get this back up but in a huge but I do have hope because because they have been through this many times before and hopefully they can bring it back up in a timely manner anyways this is not what I want to talk about into today's video I want to talk about Call of Duty and the history of the franchise. Simply put, Call of Duty is just not the same anymore. You know, I've been playing since COD 3 on the PlayStation 2. And I remember my friend put me on this first person shooter and I was deeply in love with the single player. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was about 9 or 10 years old and I had a huge Thomas the Tank Engine couch that I played video games on. This was the couch that I played in Nintendo 64, you know, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, all those all those classic games. I played it on this couch. You know, I would get home from school and go straight to that couch and play some COD3. The story was absolutely beautiful. And if you haven't seen it, please do yourself a favor and get the game. It is a true classic. But then, you know, the PlayStation 4, I mean the PlayStation 3 was released. And then COD 4 came out, and I was just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> this game was a god. Yo, this, the graphics were insane, and they, and I put so many days and days into this game. It has so many game modes that we don't even see in today's COD anymore. You know, game modes such as Headquarters and Sabotage. These were absolutely fun to play. The game featured a simplistic way to create a class and a way to play itself. Ah, this game was so fun. Yo, thumbs up if you remember the maps Crossfire and Overgrown. I could play those maps over and over again. But then World at War came out. The game went back into time, but I still fell in love with it. In my opinion, this may have been one of the best CODs of all time. This game also featured a simplistic way to play the game and create a class. And just thinking about the good times I had with this game makes me want to play it again. Thumbs up if you remember Cliffside and Dome. This was the first game where four DLCs came out for a COD game, and I could talk on and on and on about this game. The PPSH, the FG-42, the MP-40, and the fucking Thompson gun. And then Modern Warfare 2 came out. The classic PlayStation game of all time. The game where one man army was abused. The game where tactical insertions came out and people boosted for those tactical nukes. The game where if you got your Predator missile and chopper gunner, you could pretty much guarantee yourself a nuke. The game where spawn noob tubes and search and destroy could possibly kill the entire team in the first 5 seconds. The game where stopping power on the UMP was overpowered. Man, this game was so fun to play and addicting. But then Black Ops 1 came out. The first game where I actually put over 30 plus days into the game. The game where I took my win loss and killed that seriously because people could see my combat record and I wanted to show it off. This game is where Treyarch got it right. This game did take a hit in graphics, but sometimes graphics isn't the only way, only thing that makes the game fun. This is the game where I did game battles nonstop. This was the game where zombies was ridiculously fun to play. The FAMAS was a god gun. The maps were created with amazing detail. This is the game where Nuketown was born. Then MW3 came out. This is the game where I tried to get high on the leaderboards. <laughs> I got to rank 3 for wins overall and rank, score, uh, rank 6 for score. But it wasn't too long that I got banned for exploiting a map on Dome. In Sabotage, you could spawn trap on the map Dome. You could place claymores in certain spots of the map that would force the spawn in one point. We would rotate everyone in the party in that specific spot, and everybody would get exactly on the dot 299 kills, which was the maximum amount of kills you could get before it didn't count at the end of the match. 
but I didn't play an MW3 too much, although it was still a classic. And then Black Ops 2 came out, highly anticipated multiplayer game. This is where Treyarch also got it right again. I'm not going to talk about it too much because you guys know what's up about that game. It may have been one of the best multiplayer games competitively and casual game gaming of all time. And then COD just started taking a hit. Ghost came out, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3. Although I am enjoying Black Ops 3, enjoying Black Ops 3, there has been a lot of changes to, get the, uh, to Call of Duty that has turned me off from the franchise. One being that they are making e one reason being that they are making everything too complex. You know the jetpacks are unnecessary. Advanced Warfare had exos that made the game not about gun skill, but more about who can evade with a jetpack. You know, shit like that kind of pissed me off. And sometimes I wish Call of Duty would just go back to the basics and build off of COD 4 and World at War. You know. I've been playing Call of Duty long enough to know that Call of Duty has been taking a hit. But I want to know from you guys what you miss and what you think Call of Duty is doing wrong. Is it, you know, is it the small things like combat records missing? Is it the gun, sc uh, gun skill that is no longer existent? Is it the movement system that took place after AW was, uh, was released? Is it because everything is becoming too complex? Let me know what you guys think. I personally think COD 4, World at War, MW2, and Black Ops 1 were the best of the franchise. Let me know down below which, you, which COD you think should be remastered. What you think they should add and remove from the current Call of Duties. I'm going to catch the Golden State Warriors game. See if they can get the 32 wins. I'm out. Leave a comment, like, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.